welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here thank you so much for clicking on today's video if you're new i'd love for you to join my youtube friends and family and just hit that little subscribe button and the bell so you're notified when new videos are uploaded you don't want to miss out i do upload most days of the week today's video is a fun yet educational and maybe a little bit of an eye-opening video we're going to talk about six weight loss tips that are super easy and make a big difference in our weight loss journey. Some of these you may have thought of, some of them you may not have, but these are six tips that have helped me lose over 33 pounds on the WW program. So let's jump right into these six easy tips that make a big difference in weight loss. Number one, don't think of this as a diet. Think of this as a lifestyle, a healthy eating lifestyle. Immediately when we think diet, we think something short term that we're gonna lose a lot of weight and something that chances are we're going to gain back that weight as soon as we stop the diet. So when we're on a health journey, a weight loss journey, it's important to view it as a healthy eating lifestyle or as a permanent lifestyle change. That way we're more motivated throughout our weight loss journey, but then once we do hit our goal, it's easier for us to maintain that loss because we don't view this as a diet. We view this as a healthy eating, a healthy lifestyle. Also, when we think healthy lifestyle, we view this as permanent. So this is something we're going to do the rest of our lives. That's why they call them fad diets. They're a fad. They come and they go. They're not something that is sustainable, that's permanent, and that can be a complete lifestyle change. So whenever I refer to WW, I always refer to it as my journey, as my lifestyle, as my healthy eating journey, instead of as a diet, because it's something that I want to do for the rest of my life. Yes, I want to use it to lose weight, but I also want to continue in maintenance and not gain that weight back and make this a permanent healthy lifestyle. Tip number two, eat your protein. This is so important. Yes, in order to lose weight, it's calories in versus calories out. That's just the facts. That's the way that it is. Anytime you want to lose weight, you have to consume less then you're putting out. However, not all calories are created equal. Not all foods fuel our body. Not all foods our body knows how to process and not all foods make our body react the same way, which delivers us the same result. Yes, there are no foods that are bad. All foods are good. We should be incorporating all types of foods in our healthy lifestyle, but protein is super important. And let me give you a few reasons why you should really up your protein game. First of all, eating enough protein decreases late late night hunger cravings and obesity. It's crazy that if we don't eat enough protein during the day, we find ourselves a lot more hungry at night. By hitting your protein goal, you're going to feel less hungry. You're gonna feel more satiated, more satisfied, and eating a lot of protein helps fight obesity, which is always a win when you're on a weight loss journey. Protein also decreases your obsessive thoughts about food by up to 60%. 60% percent. That is crazy. So when we're constantly obsessing over our next meal or obsessing over whether we're going to eat this or that by upping our protein, it's going to decrease that by 60%. So food won't always be on our mind because we're not going to be hungry. We're not going to be snacky. We're not going to be cravy because we fueled our body with protein. Also by eating enough protein, it helps you feel full and satiated. And on average, people that eat enough protein eat 441 less calories per day, 441. That's a substantial workout to burn that many calories. But by just upping our protein game, we're less hungry, which means less eating and 441 less calories every day that we have to burn off or try to eliminate versus that calorie in versus calorie out to lose our weight. And the last little tip with protein is make sure you have it with every meal and every snack. So if you're going to have a carb with a snack or a meal, make sure you pair that with a protein. And another kind of side tip is eat a bigger breakfast and a lesser dinner. I know for me, I like to save a lot of points for dinner. That generally tends to be my biggest meal of the day, but it's a proven fact that if you eat a larger breakfast and less at dinner, you can see a little bit of shifting in your weight loss. Not to mention you go to bed not feeling so full and you sleep better. It's just overall better to invest your points and your calories in the beginning of the day and a little bit less at the end of the day. Number three is my favorite and that is drink 
your water, my friends. Water is the key to weight loss. It helps flush our body, it helps keep us full, and it fuels our body with water instead of food. Water hydrates our skin and our body, and it can boost our metabolism 24 to 30%. You can boost your metabolism 24 to 30% just by drinking water. Another fun, interesting fact about water is if you drink 17 ounces of water 30 minutes before your meal, you are going to consume 44% less food. 44% less food, 44% less calories, and water does a body good. While we're talking beverages and water, Another couple of things that you can do to help your weight loss is to drink green tea and to drink lemon infused water. If you didn't notice, I have lemon in my water. Lemon is my very, very favorite thing to put in water. I also like to put limes, oranges, cucumbers. For me, having my water flavored makes me drink a little bit more. So they say to drink green tea before your workout. The reason for that is it boosts your energy, boosts your metabolism, and overall you're going to burn more calories during your workout. Now, is this true? Who knows? I found this a lot online. I actually found this exact sediment several, several times online by dietitians, nutritionists, doctors. So is it true? I don't know, but it doesn't hurt to drink a little bit of green tea before your workout and see if you have some noticeable results. And the best part about lemon water is lemons contain what is called pectin. Pectin helps with cravings and makes you feel full and satisfied. That's why it's important to add lemon to your water, plus it tastes amazing. It really helps with all of those other benefits, and lemon just tastes really, really good in water. It's refreshing, it's light, and in my opinion, for me especially, I drink a lot more water when there's some type of fruit or vegetable in my water. The next tip is quite interesting. Are you somebody that craves sweets after dinner? That's me. In fact, I want something sweet after every meal. It's ridiculous, but there is a simple trick to help cure that craving for sweetness after a meal or after dinner, and that is something as simple as chewing gum. By chewing gum, you're giving your taste buds some flavor, and it's also going to keep your mouth busy so that you're not craving those sweet treats after your meal. Gum lowers your cravings for sweet and salty, so whether you're a sweets eater or a salty eater by chewing that gum, it's going to help decrease those cravings and it keeps you full between meals. It gives your mouth something to do other than eat food. Tip number five is keep yourself busy. I know for me especially, I'm a board eater. If I have nothing better to do, if I'm watching TV, if I'm scrolling the internet, if I'm not keeping my mind, my hands, my mouth busy by drinking water, all I wanna do is eat. By keeping busy, it keeps your mind occupied on something else, your hands occupied on something else, and honestly, it just takes the craving for food away. You're not thinking about food because you're busy thinking about other things. If you think that you're hungry or you find yourself feeling hungry, and we're not talking hunger pangs, we're talking just hungry and cravy, there's a couple of things that you can do to take away that craving. You can drink your water, you can chew your gum, you could take a walk, you could read a book, you could take a bubble bath, you could hop over here on YouTube and watch some motivational videos. They don't have to be food videos, they could be videos like this with tips and tricks, and that's going to keep your mind busy and entertained so that it doesn't send you to the kitchen or the pantry for food. All right, so those are my six super easy tips that make a big difference in weight loss. I hope I shared something with you today that maybe you didn't think about or maybe you thought about but have, haven't implemented in your healthy eating journey. These are just some great tips and tricks to keep your weight loss moving in the right direction. If you're new to my channel, again, welcome. Thanks for sticking around through today's video. Just hit that little subscribe button and the bell so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. I'd love to have you be part of my YouTube community. It's a pretty fun place to be. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed these six tips. And please, in the comments, leave any additional tips that you have for success on weight loss. And remember, my friends, this isn't a diet. This is a healthy eating journey. This is a lifestyle. And if you go into whatever lifestyle uh, for healthy eating that you've chosen, whether it's Weight Watchers, Keto, South Beach, whatever that may be, if you go in with that mentality, you're definitely going to be able to lose the weight and maintain the weight. So again, leave your comments down below with any other tips and tricks that you might have to share with the rest of the community. And of course, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.